Hi, Pastor Randy here. Thank you for your involvement in the ministry to children at Hillside Church. There's many things in my heart and my mind about our preschool area, our nursery area, things that I believe that we can do to really minister to these younger believers. At our Children's Worker Gathering, here's a few of the things that I shared that you'll want to be aware of. First of all, I shared this quote that I love, and it's simply this, God reveals the kingdom to children. The kingdom belongs to children, not just adults. Many years ago when I was at Prior Lake Assembly of God, I was the children's pastor there, and I was a young man, and a young gal came up to me and said this. She said, I'm a new believer. I have a three-year-old daughter. She asked me a question. I don't know the answer. I don't know what to say. Could you talk with her? And I'm thinking, well, of course I could talk to her. A three-year-old has a question. <laughs> How simple will this be? The three-year-old girl came up to me and said, um, I was just wondering if Jesus was God and Jesus died, does that mean God died and I paused and went, um, uh, uh, well, uh, um, kind of. Here I'm thinking this three-year-old girl is asking me a question that theologians have wrestled with for centuries. <laughs> it confirms to me what Jesus said in Luke chapter 10, verse 21. He says, it says this, Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said this, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. Do you understand that there's spiritual things that God may want to reveal to kids that are not even revealed to the wise and learned adults? God cares about their spiritual health and where they are at spiritually. And God wants to speak to them and impart things into their lives that maybe we as adults don't even recognize. God has a plan for these young ones. So let's never uh, sell short the the time that we have with these kids, the potential that these children have, our opportunity to share spiritual truth with these young ones. Jesus says, I've hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Let's be a part of that process. God wants us to speak spiritual health into these children's lives. And so that takes me to this. I want to make sure that we are on a weekly basis, sharing spiritual truth and providing a spiritually worshipful experience for children at church at all age levels. We know this, God wants spiritual input to be happening at our church. This needs to be more than a daycare. This needs to be more than a secular after-school program. We're dealing with eternal things, the spiritual health of children. And so we need to be doing things that set us apart from just the secular society. We would need to do more than just be a spectator, like sitting up. Uh, I think of a lifeguard sitting on the side of the pool, watching people. It's like, oh yeah, they're good. They're good. Yep, yep. As long as they're not drowning, we're okay. And that's not where we're at. We want to nurture spiritual health in these children at all age levels. So in the adult service, usually starts off, you have pre-service stuff, they're getting coffee, they're fellowshipping together, they're talking together, and then it goes down to start time, and they do a few songs, and we worship, and we praise, and then there's a time of giving, and then after that, there's the preaching of the Word of God, it's applied to our lives, and then they end with prayer, and they even have uh, people on the sides that can pray with people about things. And we want to do that same type of format in kids' church with our grade schoolers. 
They start off fellowshipping together. Okay, they're not drinking coffee, but they're playing carpet ball or they're building something out of Legos. That's how kids build relationships, by playing together. So this is a fellowship time. And then we begin and we do 10 to 15 minutes of worship. Then we have a time of giving, BGMC or tithes and offerings. And then there's the teaching of the word. I often say that I, 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 I preach, but I try to do visual preaching. I'm trying to give us something they can see because it's easier for them to pay attention when we give them something that interests them. We teach the word of God, but it's always easier to teach them when they want to pay attention. to do So do stuff they want to participate in and things that they want to pay attention to. And then after that, we have time in prayer. We apply this to our lives. Okay, so... We do that in the adult service area. They do that in the youth area. They do, we do this in the grade school age area. We need to carry that down into our preschool area. And so we want to be having a chapel time on Sunday mornings specifically. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have about, we're going to have about 10 minutes of play time at the beginning. They're building relationships. And then we're going to do a 25 minute chapel. And during this chapel time, we want to have singing. By the way, we have YouTube playlists that are already up on the screens. And there are five or six songs there. You don't have to use all of them, but use three or four of them. And sing with the kids and, and worship along with them. Okay? And then during that chapel time, there will probably be a time of giving. Maybe it will be right at the beginning. But we'll give offerings. And then there's a Bible lesson. You have a curriculum that you get to use. There's all kinds of stuff in there as possibilities. After the Bible lesson, which is probably about 15 minutes, then you will go ahead and do a directed play type thing. It's an activity. After the activity is done, then you can take a moment and pray together as you end chapel, and then you'll head off and do the craft and snack and that type of thing, because this all fits within about an hour. So let's plan on doing that. Now, that's Activate Junior. In the nursery area, we're going to minimize it and bring it down a little more. I mean, it's not going to be a 25-minute chapel with two-and-a-half-year-olds. But can they sit at the table? Can we sing Jesus Loves Me? Can we do a song? Can we pray together before our snack? You can tell a Bible story. We have Bible storytelling cards in a box right there in the nursery. You can just pull one of those out and they can look at the picture. And there's a script on the back. It's, it's only about a minute long, but we're doing something that is of spiritual significance and spiritual input into the life of these young ones. It needs to be more than just like secular childcare. Okay, let's speak into their lives. I know in the nursery we have listed right on the side wall, right above the changing table, Pray this for this child and their family. You're changing their diaper. Just take a moment and pray for them right there, right then. There's times in the nursery. I know you're going to be holding kids on your lap. I, I always get inspired by Jesus in Mark chapter 10. It says he took them up in his lap, laid his hands on them and blessed them. And you have an opportunity to speak into their lives and speak over their lives. God wants to bless these kids, even at a young, young age age. So we're going to aim at this. We want to see this happen. Activate junior specifically. First service, usually it's one group of kids. So then they'll have chapel time in the chapel room. Third service, same type of thing. Second service, we usually have different age groups. And so we want to come together for chapel time during that time period. It is yet to be determined who is leading those chapel times because we have a rotation of workers on different Sundays. But we are aiming that direction. We want this to be a worship service for preschoolers. We have worship service for adults. We have worship service for our grade school age kids. We want a worship service for preschoolers. Pray with us towards that. We'll talk more with our leadership, but we're aiming that direction. And in the next few weeks, we ought to be going full on into this. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you for your involvement. We're excited about what God is doing in the lives of families and in the lives of our youngest believers. God bless you.